Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Loudy on the mic right now, bringing y'all uh, my first professional gaming video. I finally got my Elgato capture card, and now no more ghetto style gaming where I put the camera in front of my TV and I play it from there. That's it's truly ghetto. But now I got my Elgato capture card. Let's get on the popping, huh? Now on the screen, you see Skate 3, but I'm here to talk to you guys about Skate 4 and things that I will put in it if they're making it or if they haven't thought about making it. So, here are my suggestions that I will put in Skate 4. Number 1, a day and night cycle. Now, I know I'm not the only one who wants to skate franchise or return back to the gaming industry. If they would make a comeback or if they're planning on doing it, I will put a day and night cycle. We got the next gen out, Notorious PC. Show off the power of those things. Like, have a night cycle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 40 minutes a day. And then, like, you know, like the same amount of time for nighttime. And I mean, it's going to be just like real life when you hit up a spot. When you hit up a spot in real life, you skateboard, you got like a nice generator. Then you put in spotlights up. Or you got your homie who's got his camera. And then he can put like a little, like, you know, flashlight on that part. Like, tell me now it's not like hella fun. That, that, that would be absolutely amazing in my opinion. They, they should put that joint in there. Number two, a tricked out skateboard. Nothing says I'm ready for a day of none but skateboarding than a brand new board. I mean, okay, it's fixing up, like setting up a skateboard is like cooking. The board is the is the is the pot, the trucks, the bearings, the hardware, the wheels, the grip tape is the ingredients. Put that together with a pack of stickers to put on the deck of the skateboard. And you got you like a masterpiece. Nothing says I'm ready to kill you slash murder you. It's the same thing I know. In a game of skate with a new like then the, the new board. That would be like that'll be bananas to put in, in you know skate four. And not to mention another thing that'll be another thing that'll be dope to put in skate four is like a board already set it up. Like Tory Putwell, Nigel Houston, and Paul Rodriguez's number one setup for street skating or skating big rails or popping big Holly or whatever. That would be amazing. Number three, battle at the barracks and street league. Now with skateboarding being as big as it is today, it needs to have its biggest competition or contest. Like street leagues with Nigel Houston, Juan Oliveira, Shane O'Neal, P-Rod, T-Puds. Street leagues, it's like street leagues against your favorite pros and you get to play as them. You can't, I know you can't participate in them right now, but say you're just a little kid and you like, you know, you just starting off skating and you like want to skate your pro. Like you can't skate your pros physically, so the next best thing is to, is to put in skate three, I mean skate four, and like you know, just you know, just go ham on them on there, show them that you like a new skate, or like you know, bow the barracks. Speaking of those, why hasn't bow the barracks been in skate two? Skate two had a way better sh uh, streetish, like a street skaterish theme to it. I think that it would be dope in Skate 2 and in Skate 3. Like, come on, EA, set the game up, bro. Number 4, more noticeable tricks. Now, another thing that would be dope to put in Skate 4 would be, you know, like a system that helps you recognize, like, you know, old school tricks, like like a bigger flip. A bigger flip is basically a pop, 360 pop shove it 180. Now it's now it would be pretty cool if it will inform the player on what type of trick you're doing, or even if it doesn't like you know inform you right then and there on the screen when you do it, at least put it in like you know the trick guide because in the trick guide you'll have like all types of things like what like you'll have like you know just, like skate slang like you'll have like the skate slang or you know like uh like skidding. Skidding is basically holding on to a car and while the car is going you're holding on to it. That would be pretty cool to put in, you know, either in the game while you're playing the game or at least put it in the trick guide. Either way, it would be pretty helpful to the skater to recognize old school tricks or old school names for the trick that they're doing. You know, probably nothing too big, but it'll be, you know, that'll be pretty helpful though. Number five, more pros and less dumber AI. Now with skateboarding getting more and more popular each day, more skaters out there busting their behinds to do their thing on YouTube to show their face and make their mark in the world, like Christopher Chan and Lamar Holt. Like those two, they, even though Christopher Chan doesn't really want to skate just to be famous, he wants the skaters to have fun. And I really, and I think that those type of skaters deserve to be in the dopest skating game. Or let's put more pros in there, like Juan Alabera, 
Nigel Houston, uh, I, I, P, P. Rock, P. Rock, if you're watching, can you, can you please come back to skate? I know you're in the first skate, like, come back, P. Rod. You know what I'm saying? Your city needs you, man. And less dumber AI. Now, every time I would skate in, like, at the ghetto spot on Skate 3, there'd be that one ledge that every, like, every, all, like the AI or, like, attached to this, or, like, attached to this, like, you know, this ledge. Like, I can't even do my thing without one of them, like, crashing in. I'm in mid-grind. One of them crashes into me and knocks me and ruins my line. Like, that is so obnoxious. Or they'll have the AI civilians, like, you know, I'll be trying to like hit up a stair gap or hit up like you know a ledge and do manuals on it and here comes one chick like walking on the ledge like you know she's minding her business and i crash into her and then like you know they have like a little warning thing where they tase you and they start chasing you yeah that's kind of annoying fix game please well that's all folks that's my that's my suggestion that i will put in skate for if they're making one or if they if they think about making another one Skate 4, in my opinion, was the best skate game. I heard Tony Hawk coming out with a new game, but Skate 4, I would say, it holds the titles of the best skating game on platforms out right now. I hope that, like, you know, if they do make a Skate 4, I hope they take their time on it. I hope the developers don't rush it out. Like, some of the, like, this year, 2014, was terrible for games. Like, everybody, like, a lot of gaming companies were taking L, especially Ubisoft or Ubisoft. Higher of a player on Assassin's Creed Unity, Glitch Fest. Uh, I heard that some I heard that some company messed up Tetris. How do you mess up Tetris? That's what I'm trying to understand. And NBA 2K servers, I heard that like you know if you get on and delete your character, they need to fix their games, bro. Hopefully, Fit 2015 is way better for the gaming industry, and I hope they make a skate for it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they don't, oh, sad face. But if they do, then I'll be looking forward to it. Make sure you check out my other videos on my comedy channel and my rant channel, vlogging channel. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go. Peace.